Hey guys, it's Framed and today I'm here to bring a guide on easy on how to get a fire cape in the fight caves while only using melee. Uh, I'm going to show you a gear setup on screen and obviously if you do not have the gear that I have then get what you can close to it. So if you wanted to have a, a varic skirt, like try to get a DH legs, dragon legs, whatever you can. But obviously if you're going to melee fight caves then you should probably have the best defense in mind. So if you can't afford the gear for... Uh, meleeing the fight caves then I would just suggest that you use my other guide which is for range which I'll put that in the description but I would suggest that you use that guide instead because it's a lot, a lot more of a welfare guide this is just for people that choose to do uh, melee through the fight caves because they are more confident for your inventory I would recommend that you have a crystal shield and or a defender because you're gonna be using both the shield to tank and the defender to get through certain bosses faster I would recommend that you have two super combat potions. Uh, I took the wrong amount of brews in, so I'll put it on screen too at the beginning of the guide, so hopefully if you guys watch this with no sound, you will actually still know not the segment, but I would recommend that you take about 10 brews and then you fill the rest of your inventory up with super stores. Again, you should have relatively decent stats for this, so you should have a pretty similar inventory setup to mine, but if you were to have, let's say, uh, all 99 stats like 99 attack 99 strength 99 defense and I would say maybe you could take the amount of bruise I had uh, maybe we could take a little bit less but for the most part I would just recommend that you have 10 bruise two super combat potions the shield switch maybe even a D Halley 2 if you want to uh, spec and have a bit of uh, safety time for uh, the 360s or whatever and the rest uh, super restores. The beginning of the caves is really easy. It's really not that much of a task at all until about wave 31. And when you hit wave 31, that's actually when it's going to be the 360s. And you don't really need to worry much about the 360s until you get to the 90s and then the uh, 180s, you know, uh, as all proceeds. But when you get to the 360s and the 90s, as in the Mage and the Ranger, you are going to use the Crystal Shield and you're going to put that on and use Piety so you can take minimal damage against the Ranger. Then you kill the Ranger first and then you're able to take off your Prayer and go straight over to the 360. And the way I kill the 360s throughout the entire caves is I wait until they range, or not range me, sorry, I wait until they mage me once and when they start their animation to mage and once they start their animation for maging I hit them and I take a step back so you save spawn the entire time and you make sure that they don't actually melee you because as soon as they do their animation it is pretty much set that if you do not have your prayer on you will get hit so there's no point in really prayer flicking it unless you're really experienced and you really know what you're doing but it's no it's not really any point to prayer flicking the 360s or anything so the way you should do it is just you get a rhythm down pretty fast you hit it you take a step off you hit it you take a step off and you you maybe wait a second after every hit you really don't wait long you can see it on screen at the moment anyway when you get up to the 360 the 180 and the 90 you kill the 90 then you get the 180 trap behind the 360. So you always eliminate the ranger every round first because and when the rangers are up, you do use your crystal shield so you take minimal damage as well as piety. So once you get that out of the way, then you go to the 360 and you take the 360 out, but you get the 180 trap behind it. It's kind of difficult, but you're pretty much just going to have to run around them. I would not take any chances and run straight through the 360 because you may, you do risk the chance of getting hit with melee. And trust me, the melee can hit really hard. So if you can, try to run around the 360s and get the 180s trapped. It does take a little bit of maneuvering, but you can get it done. If you guys actually are experiencing a bit of difficulty getting them stuck, then what you can do is at the beginning of each new round, you go to the northeast corner of the map and you go south until you hit a wall, which is actually at the Italy Rock. And then every time there is a new spawn, you may get some things trapped and it just makes it a little bit easier for you. When it comes time to doing JAD on a wave 63, turn on your sound and if you hear a sound charging up like this, that means he is maging. 
And if you hear this, that means he is ranging. Definitely keep this in mind because it's going to be very vital when you actually go into the Jad round. But keep on your range prayer no matter what because range doesn't actually make the sound until it's actually hit you. Until the fact that, until after the fact it's hit you, sorry. And Mage has a charging up sound, so no matter what, you're going to want to pray range because you won't be able to hear the attack before it hits you. So if you don't have range protection on and he decides to do range first, then you'll pretty much immediately die. So to clarify what I said before, keep your range protection on until you actually hear that charging up sound. So if you spawn in and you don't hear anything, assume he is immediately going to hit you with the range attack. If you spawn in and you hear the charging up sound, then that means he's going to mage and immediately switch to the mage attack. Wait until the mage attack hits you, then, just to be safe, switch back to the range and run at Jad. Then you'll actually be able to see visually if he's standing up and ranging you or not. The range is a slap to the ground and the magic is standing on two legs and hitting you. When it comes to killing Jad, wait till he's in sight, have him hit you with something, and while he's hitting you with something, let's say mage, go up and attack him. Then, pray melee as soon as you are sure that the mage attack is done. All you're going to do when you actually kill him is camp on, protect melee, and then wait until he does an animation. So if he's doing the range animation, obviously protect range and wait until the attack is done and hit you. Then switch back to the melee prayer. All you have to do is just keep good timing for this and you should get it done, no problem. When the healers spawn, all you have to do is just hit them off one by one and have them all attacking you. I did try to run them around and I actually got into a good position, but I pretty much trapped them on the other side of Jad, or I tried to trap them on the other side of Jad rather, but I got it to where only one or two of them were actually attacking me, so it didn't really matter. But all you have to do is just have to hit them off one by one so they're all losing aggro on Jad and they don't heal him. Then you can go back to killing Jad. It's really not that difficult. It seems a little bit difficult at first, but it becomes very easy to manage. Thanks for watching guys. If you were wondering how fast I actually beat this in, I did it in about an hour, 6 minutes, and 25 seconds. And I am going to try again because I believe the fastest time is about 44 to 46 minutes. I am not sure though. Anyway, I need to just max out my stats and be able to do that. But I will be doing that on Twitch and I probably will upload... I don't know, I might or may not upload it, but um, I will be highlighting the fact if I do actually beat Jad in a faster time than that. Anyway, um, if you guys did enjoy this video, then please be sure to give it a like because it took a little bit of time to put together everything and edit it all and set this all up for you. So it's just nice to actually have a little bit of feedback and everything. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next video, I guess. I don't know. Next guide. I don't know. I'll see you soon. Bye.